Funky D. Welcome back, everybody, to my news time. Today, the news when we want to take a look on the news when consigned the AGF Attorney General of the Federation Abubakar Malami. Uh, we we'll take a look at uh, Buhari. We we'll still take a look on the issue concerning uh, uh, corruption because the whole thing we want, you know, discuss right here now about corruption and how corruption started. Uh, now the news they tell us say the Malami when be the uh, Minister of Federation and uh, Buhari say they want to establish another new agency, ladies and gentlemen. That is maybe the agency when we maybe complement or fight or attack the EFCC. That is. Or we never know the reason why because they talk say this agency that they call them recovery agency. I say agent this agency say FG set to establish a new anti-corruption agency. That is to show you that EFCC fail. Malami, when be the Attorney General of Federation, fail. He was unable to handle EFCC. EFCC have been established during the time of OBJ. T today, the EFCC day. Now, during the time of uh, President Goodluck Jonathan, we now hear say somebody when be that former Attorney General of the Federation won, you know, like create a new agency. Goodluck Jonathan was able to manage it. Yaradua was able to manage it. Then Atiku Abubakar and his uh, boss when be Obasanjo when they form this agency, what they call anti-corruption agency EFCC. They still manage it. That is how many years now when these people don't create this agency. When they come be see Nabuhari term or term of the one scatter EFCC because of Malami, because of his interest, because of his greed. Why come be say agency now when don't serve many, 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 many years? Who she did appoint Malami as Attorney General of the Federation? When we say Malami will stand up to that and say, okay, EFCC, when they work for us before, we will stop her. The reason why Malami they get problem with the other guy today, when we the um, Mago, we say, Mago, no greasy Malami controller. If money come, only Mago will carry the bag of Ghana must go, enter inside the bunker. Malami go call him overnight. Bros, how far? Come make a rub shoulder. I know say you be police, but remember say me, I be lawyer. So we go, if you work together, they rob together, they thief together. Mago say no. The area where you they occupy, where you be boss, they different. My own area when I be boss, they different. So me and you not feel work together. So the thing called enter Malami. I every night Malami they cry. And they talk about the Attorney General of the Federation. In the one that I want to get Mago out from the EFCC. To dinner, all of us know see Malami and the same man where they say Buhari when they for Asorok. They don't already succeed. Send Mago out. Label him say he thief money, he rob money, he loot money. <clears throat> but we know the Side Mago. Mago on his own is a, a deadly criminal on his own. Then this one now will be the Attorney General of the Federation. Now another deadly criminal. When we say this man, he won't create this uh, body to scrap EFCC completely. Now the thing when they plan be that because he knows in CC that structure, EFCC structure, enough he controller. Because he knows see money they come there. Malami, you for become police or EFCC officer. So that you go to see money. So now this man they cry say 
he not see no money, he not see money. So for that matter, he won't bring in with the, the Abuhari. These are evil people, ladies and gentlemen. Malami is not doing all these things to help Nigerian people. Malami is not doing all these things to make sure so when they recover, they will give a, a can. No, Malami is doing this thing to they collect any money that is being recovered from anywhere. When we say EFCC self, they don't feel they see the money again. These are the reason why Malami they do this. See, they want new agency that is going to act like EFCC. That's it. Okay, if we do our own new agency, they gonna tell us say on our one bringing this agency so that they going to oversee the whole money when then. On a they recover and then go they give accounts for the whole thing when on a make. These are the job of EFCC before. My question to Malami BC and the Buhari. This time, I'm not a tell on a say EFCC do good do EF. If you ask them today where all the whole money when they recover since they enter power, then no go since that the Mago become their own uh, boss. Then you go see one Myra, one account show you see now him that they put the money. But the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, won something when he go call in own. Oh, this agency now me create them. This agency now me go oversee everything. Police no go see the money. EFCC no go. In fact, I go use my power to scrap EFCC completely as. An agency. Now the thing now, now the battle when did the battle be that, ladies and gentlemen? And this battle na to mock na belle battle on inside their belle. Now the battle for Malami no come out to the tell you see they do this thing for your own sake, no, or for your own betterment, no. They are doing it so that because you know now see EFCC now they, they, they allow the man see anything. That is why the man first say no. You know, no now according to. Them say na aim with the Buhari they rob Shoda. I swear that they tell us in a Buhari that okay, no hala. Okay, waiting the EFCC now what they do if Malami create this Uruguru agency when they won't create overnight. Malami loot trillions when be the Minister of Justice. Mango won't be the EFCC boss loot. Trillions. We read a little bit. Make we see the reason why Malami and his group, whether they take it, they won't do a new agency now. When they want pockets or hide inside their belly, they will just hide in the, the, the agency completely or swallow the agency inside their belly. Anything pertaining the agency, nobody is going to ask Malami nothing. All these things they happen, ladies and gentlemen, because the president is not. There, what did EFCC do when they make Malami say he won't bring up a new agency? One go counter the EFCC, meaning if Malami succeed, EFCC story is gone. No more EFCC again. They make a shipping one thing to hope was of them, hope was of them, ladies and gentlemen. Go make a bill when you want to kill IPOB people. That building, when that new bill now, when who put them and say, now only him go talk, who then go release, and who then go arrest in the state. That is dictatorship, ladies and gentlemen. This is not democracy. Where one man will come out and say anything he want. Who put them the building, when they bring come, ladies and gentlemen, he see if they arrest you, he will give them license. If that is, if they won't release you, now license, when they will give you, they will take it, release you. Now he will tell you, say, you go or you stay. So the, the issue concerning that bill, when it don't assent to, or when it don't sign, or when it don't put into law, now IPOB people, when they emo state, they do it for. Not before, see, they just do them because they want to punish IPOB people in emo state. Not be say do them because of everybody, no. They know what they are doing. So IPOB Emo State have to be very, very alert. And that hope was them man. When we say you know when election they did they do any. It is time 
for who puts them to leave that office when be sit when they sit down there. You know when the election in sit down there. And then they make law. Which law are you making? When they talk, see, everybody knows see, you be for one nine man. And I mean who puts them? Even all of them, even Malami, what did Malami they do now? When carry trillions, they go build there, build there, build there. Is it not for one nine? That is why we don't tell them say, hush poppy, better pass all of them. If you like, continue to laugh at hush poppy. But hush poppy is more better than all these politicians in Nigeria. Honestly, make we read a little bit, maybe we'll see waiting mala from the call notes, waiting in the nyan, waiting in get to tell us about this same law when it carry come out. No listen. The federal government has approved the establishment of a new anti-corruption agency that we have the responsibility to properly manage and uh, coordinating all assets seized from domestically or returned from abroad following anti-corruption probe. This probe is fraud. APC is fraud. PDP is fraud. Buhari is fraud. Jagaban, all these people, they are all fraudulent men. Act from yourself first because you know you are guilty. You know, say what you do to our people, not be things when a leader is supposed to do to a people. So make on a first begin probe or start the probing from your own quarter. I don't know waiting on a day probe. Everything is fraud. Can you imagine yesterday a friend of mine called me from Nigeria. They still they tell me, say those people when they talk, say and then they probe and then be, be corruption fighter. Say they're not a fight, nothing. My friend, they tell me, say, if I come to my jam, I say, I go share tears. People know they see one square me eat. Young men, young, young ladies naked outside, they work out, they beg money. Nigeria. And then they fight corruption. All the whole money, when they don't, they, they want when a bacha. When a bacha don't loot, when they bring come from America. Now, Malami and the Buhari and Aisha Buhari, all this group of people that they share this money. Including Jagaban. So that is why we always tell us say if you vote from here to America, you remain the same from here to America. If you vote Jagaban, vote APC, vote PDP, you continue to remain poor. You will remain even more poorer. So all these people forget their corruption thing. In fact, we need a solution, a long-lasting solution to all these kind of things when they happen in that country. Long-lasting solution, not be by fighting. This disclosure was made by the Attorney General and Minister of Federation, Abubakar Malami, while briefing State House Correspondent after the Federal Executive Council FAC meeting on Wednesday, September 16, 2020. You never tell now. When you talk, say they won't bring out another. What thing happened to EFCC? Now they ask, why can't be say everything when this Buhari government come meet, then they bring the thing down? Why can't be say these people they not fit do nothing? They go just bring the thing down. Just make sure say they just spoil. Because that is why I tell you now before say these people now destruction they can destroy. Malami cannot prove himself, see, this is the reason why when they create another agency, why EFCC is there. So if they create this agency, what in EFCC would they do as a body or as an agency when they do this job before? We have a lot of important things to do in that country. Government, APC people have a 